This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather Ho, there's Jeff Cutter Dobbin, and welcome you to another sports catastrophe birthday boy. And the birthday boy for today, September the 10th, is an NHL icon who played 20 years in the NHL. That's hard to do. He was a second round pick in the 1985 entry draft. He played for the Flames, Stars, Devils, Leafs, and Panthers. He's one of only 11 players in NHL history to win the Stanley Cup with three or more teams, doing it for Calgary, Dallas, and New Jersey, helping Canada win the 2002 Winter Olympics. He's inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame since 2011, and he's number 25, has been retired by Calgary since 2014. Um, he's won a few other awards and all that. He was an advisor for the Carolina Hurricanes before resigning. So he is Joe Newendike, who's now 56 years old today. He grew up in Oshawa, but grew up in Whitby. He was a decent lacrosse player, winning a national championship. No OHL team wanted Newendike, so he went to Junior B. He was actually eligible for the 1984 NHL draft, but no one wanted him. So he decided to go to Cornell to play hockey and lacrosse. He was Hockey Rookie of the Year in 84-85, and at the 85 draft, he was picked in the second round, 27th overall. After, trading, after Calgary traded Kent Nielsen to Minnesota for the draft pick. So, it was huge and all that. Calgary was ticked off. Calgary fans were ticked off that Kent Nielsen was traded for one thing. And for another thing, who the hell is this Joe Noondike guy? Noondike actually surprisingly gave up lacrosse to focus on hockey. And he played for Cornell. He was even the Hobie Baker Award winner, uh, finalist in 1987. That's for U.S. College Hockey Player of the Year. Nuendike decided to forgo his senior year to turn pro. His number 25 was retired by Cornell. In fact, he was only the second Cornell hockey player to get his number retired. The first, Ken Dryden. So, anyway, it was huge. So, he would join the Canadian Olympic national team for a few games before turning pro with the Flames. He made debut March 1987, scoring as Pete Peters of the Washington Capitals. He appeared in nine regular season games, was scoring five goals, and then he played in six playoff games as the Flames were taken out by the Jets in the first round of the playoffs. Nuremberg would capture everyone's attention, playing his first full season in 1988, putting up 32 goals in 42 games, which would have had the Pace to surpass Mike Bossy's 53 goals in one year, a tough rookie scoring thing. Unfortunately, New Knight fell short at 51, but led the team in goals, making him the second rookie to score 50 goals in one season. He was named to the old rookie team and won the Calder Memorial Trophy as the NHL's top rookie. Now you'll be thinking, hang on, didn't he play the previous year? Well, the rules are that you have to play 25 total games. If you... In your rookie, you can, once you hit 25 games, you're no longer a rookie, like in your career. Anyway, Newendike would put up 51 goals for the 89 Flames, who would go on to win the Stanley Cup against the Habs. He scored his 100th goal in his 144th career game. In fact, he was only the third, he was the third fastest to reach that milestone. And no, it, Wayne Gretzky was not one of the two guys that had beaten him in that mark. It was Mike Bossy with 129 games and Rocket Richard 134 games of his career. He would score five goals January 1989 in a game against the Winnipeg Jets. He would score 10 goals in the Stanley Cup playoffs. He actually had the primary assist on Lanny McDonald's final goal in the NHL in that game six against the Habs. Nunez would score 45 goals in 1990 and looked pretty good. Unfortunately, though, a knee injury suffered during evaluation camp for the 91 Canada Cup ruined him. He missed the first 11 games. He became 
the 12th captain in Flames history after Doug Gilmore uh, walked out on the team. He was limited in all that. However, Dewey Dyke would kind of slow down in a sense with Calgary. He went to arbitration for the 95-96 season and was given $1.85 million, but wanted a long-term extension. He was given a three-year, $6 million contract to stay in Calgary, but he refused it. So he held out until December 1995 when the Flames said, screw it, we're going to get rid of him. They traded him to Dallas for Corey Nolan and an unknown at the time, Jerome McGinley. That's right, McGinley was traded for New England. Dallas gave him a five-year, $11.3 million contract right off the nose. And they were, oh, excuse me, <coughs> that Noondike's, um, thing would actually help the franchise, which was relocated from Minnesota three years prior. Noondike would only play 32 game, uh, 32 points in 52 games with its stars. But he came back in his goal-scoring thing. Unfortunately, he would be injured in the opening game with the Stars' first round series in 98 against the Sharks because of Brian Marchman's knee-on-knee -knee hit. He would have a suffered torn ACL. He would need two knee surgeries to repair and six months to heal. However, in the 99 playoffs, he scored 11 goals and 10 assists to help the Stars make it to the Stanley Cup Finals and win the Stanley Cup for the first time in franchise history. And yes, he was the Conn Smythe winner. A lot of people thought that it was Mike Bonanno or Brett Hall. Nope. New Knight won the con Smythe that year. Unfortunately, injuries would kind of hurt him and all that. New Knight, ironically, would be traded to Dallas. I mean, to, to New Jersey, the team that he played in the 2000 Stanley Cup Finals when they lost to the Devils. Alongside Jamie Langerbrunner for Jason Arnett, Randy McKay, and a first-round pick in the 2002 draft. So that was huge and all that. New Jersey needed someone for their playoff run in 2002. Unfortunately, the Devils were quickly eliminated by the Carolina Hurricanes in the first round. New Nick would get his 500th goal of his NHL career in 2003 in a game against Carolina and scored his 1,000th point a month and a bit later against the Penguins. He did help the Devils get to the Stanley Cup Finals in 2003. And New Knight got hurt in Game 6 of the Conference Final and couldn't play in the Finals. No matter, the Devils still won the Cup. And New Knight was given his third Stanley Cup ring with three different teams. The Leafs were interested and signed him to a one-year deal. Unfortunately, injuries would cause him to only play 64 games, but he scored 22 goals for the Leafs. And New Knight was the hero in Game 7 of the first round against the New Ottawa Senators. Although you could also say that Patrick Lalleen was just dog shit. He couldn't play much in the Leafs' second round series against the Flyers because of a groin injury. He signed another one-year deal, but because of the labor dispute, it was supposed to be the end of New Nick's career. But the Florida Panthers said, you know what, screw it. We're going to get this guy. So they signed Joe New Nick and Gary Roberts. To two year, $4.5 million contracts each. Nunek and Roberts were teammates in Calgary and Toronto. Anyway, Nunek played 65 games, scoring 26 goals and 56 points. Unfortunately, chronic back pain would cause Nunek to retire December 2006. Nunek. was actually allowed to play in the 98 Olympic team for Canada, scoring five points in six games. But Noonday played on what was called the checking line of the 2002 Olympics with Theo Fleury and Brandon Shanahan. <clears throat> and how Canada win the gold medal. So Noonday, as I said, is in the Hockey Hall of Fame 2011. He's never tried ice retired by the Flames. He was a consultant to many general managers and all that. New and his wife have three children. New and won the King Clancy Award in 95 for the the person 
who Benson's ex expert simplifies leadership qualities on and off the ice and made a humanitarian contribution to the community because he's known for his contributions to the SPCA or the Society of Prevention of, for the Prevention of Cruelty in Animals. So he would score 564 goals, 1,126 points in his 1,257 regular season games in the NHL, and put up 66 goals in 158 playoff games, winning three Stanley Cups in 89 with Calgary, 99 with Dallas, and 2003 with New Jersey. Curtis has a King Clancy Award. He won the Calder for Best Rookie in 88 and the Consumite Trophy for Play of MVP in 1999. So he's pretty good, even though his name is hard to say and spell. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.